Hi, just wanted to demonstrate the difference in the new version 2.00121 GW firmware. So I've got two meters, one with 2.00, one with 1.57 here. And let's have a look. There's a couple of changes. One is the uh, update rate on high resistance uh, readings and generally the auto ranging of the ohms range. So I've got both actually connected uh, in parallel like this. And you can't normally measure resistance like this, but measuring zero is fine. So let's have a look at that and it the speed will actually vary as you can see quite substantially faster on the new uh, 2.00 but like i said that will actually vary depending on where it starts in the measurement cycle as you can see it recovers quicker as well so depends on where it actually is there might be slight differences in the timing there but anyway there you go you can see that it is substantially quicker um auto ranging and quicker recovery as well so there you go no worries much quicker see that one was probably way out in its measurement uh like it would have just taken a measurement just before i had uh actually connected these ones so i'd have to wait for another full cycle before it could then start auto ranging so substantially quicker there uh now we'll uh let's have a look we will now try a 30 meg resistor so oh sorry it's caught on the tripod leg damn it okay there we go so we've got our 30 meg resistor there and have a watch the update rate there i don't know what it actually is you could get a stopwatch out and time that if you really wanted to but take it over to here and you'll see that 2.00 is substantially quicker update rate on the ohm so there you go there's just a few changes uh there's a minor bug in like low ohms mode or something like that but uh anyway let's now have a look at a capacitor uh we've made changes on the capacitance uh, range as well so let's go over to there so the old one this is a 100 mic cap let's plug it in both are on auto ranging and 94 see it didn't actually auto range properly there it's capable of it's given the correct value but it didn't auto range uh properly so it's actually you're capable of actually getting more resolution than that but you had to go in and do it manually so that was a bug um in the old 1.57 and 1.58 because there was a 1.58 beta i think anyway and in the new 2.00 that's just going to work should work hunky dory there you go no workers whatsoever so there's a, and i think there's a couple of other bugs in capacitance uh range to fix but there you go just wanted to show you update the new 2.00 firmware because that was one of the criticisms of the 121 gw and rightly so is that the auto ranging wasn't that fast in the ohms range so now it is uh substantially faster and for those who just want to make sure oh, no hang on let's whack that in there let's have another look for those who want to get this stopwatch out so i won't do the other one i'll just do this here we go boom oh God, silly me oh come on dave pibcac here we go boom and yeah it's not the fastest meter on the market but then again it is not the slowest either in fact i could probably get out the agilent yeah, let me get out the Agilent one. I'll compare that. Hang on. 